So let's do um, uh, the first motion twinning using Animate CC 2015. Uh, so we're going to create the, uh, uh, the one new document, uh, Action Script 3.0, Animate CC file, which is a flash file. Uh, 550 pixel by 400 pixel uh, frame rate 24 frames per second rate so I'm not going to change anything so say OK and then we're going to need to have two images so first one is going to be roadmap.jpg and the second one car.png so roadmap thing is going to be uh, just a jpeg file because this is kind of a photo images and then a car image file it will have transparent background so um, please save it as a ping 24 uh, we know the um, um, the shortcut command option shift s save for web make sure you're choosing uh, ping 24 so we can keep the um, um, the good color depth so, okay, so since i saved it already so let me go back to flash uh, let me import my roadmap to my stage. Um, roadmap.jpg first. For uh, some reason, uh, this is kind of a bug, um, I think. Uh, once you import the new images into um, uh, your stage, it has one pixel by one pixel X and Y coordination, which is supposed to be a zero by zero. So let me change it to 0 by 0 so it covers your entire stage completely. And let me rename my layer 1 as a roadmap so I can tell which layer has which image. So this is done. So new layer will be named as a car. So import command R. So I'm, I'm trying to use the, uh, the shortcut keycaps um, as much as I can because it saves a lot of time. It's a big time saver. So car.png. So once you import, uh, please choose the uh, free transform tool and rotate it. And I'm going to uh, rescale it. Let me hold down the shift key so I can keep the same proportion. So the plan is this car will be coming in from the top left corner and will exit to this right corner. Pretty simple animation. Uh, let me rotate just a little bit more so I can keep the um, um, good angle. Okay. So first. Um, <clears throat> we wouldn't <coughs> excuse me um, since we have a one keyframe on frame number one which is the uh, departure so we need to have another at least second destination the keyframe so this is a routine when we try to move something any object or graphics on your stage it will be motion twin so select your frame first make sure your properties panel is presenting the information about your frame not about your graphic about your frame so make sure you click on the frame in your timeline so insert motion twin don't worry about the uh, your images uh, background road map images missing so it's we can fix it later and on frame number four, 24, uh, there's nothing. So let's import the um, uh, insert uh, new keyframe. So once we import the uh, keyframe, it will copy and paste the, uh, the current selection, selected item, which is this, in this case, which is the car. So uh, by inserting the keyframe, we have a copy of the car on frame number 24, which is our destination. Now I need to extend the image of my roadmap from 1 to 24. So on the bottom layer, highlight the frame number 24 and insert just a frame because we're not going to move anything. 
we just need to extend the images. So frame. So now I'm back to car layer. Make sure I'm on the frame number 20, <coughs> 24. So this playback uh, is supposed to be on frame number 24. So let me move it to somewhere here. So uh, we see that uh, path. So I'm going to hit the return key, so let's see how it works. So we have a basic animation. The car is moving across the road, but it doesn't follow this bl uh, the blue road yet. So we need to define, uh, insert uh, several uh, keyframes so we can make turn. So let me go back. So I'm moving my play hat uh, slowly. And once it reaches, somewhere I need to uh, have some kind of a turning point I'm going to insert keyframe so from now on since we're going to insert a lot of keyframes we're going to use the keycaps which is F6 if you work on the, your um, laptop uh, hit the um, uh, keep pressing the uh, function key and hit the F6 key okay. so which is here now let me place my um, mouse cursor on the path. Now you can see that upside down arc, meaning we can distort, change the uh, the pathway a little bit. Okay, so which is good. And once it hits somewhere in the middle of this big U, uh, big curve, I'm going to insert another keyframe, F6, function key and F6 on my laptop. And then let me move it to somewhere here and I guess I need to have another turning point to somewhere in the middle here so I can have a smoother pathway so another F6 keyframe so um, the keyframe things uh, you can insert keyframes as many as you want uh, any location uh, where you want to have any change changing the location or to change the scale or to change the direction anything okay. so it looks good I may need to have another one uh, maybe somewhere here another keyframe let me change the path like this Maybe a little more here, so that is this keyframe. Let me zoom in a little more. And let me move it. Okay. getting smoother just a little bit so let me hit the return key so I can see the uh, the result yep. it's okay but um this car uh, is following the blue road but it is not oriented uh, it's kind of a floating or um, the hovering so what we're gonna do is uh, on the car layer uh, that I inserted a motion twin on the frame number one here so click on the frame now my properties panel is presenting the information about the frame and then uh, we're not gonna change anything but in the rotation panel we're gonna see that one little checkbox is called orient to path so click on it and now you see the difference the cars following the road also uh, it is orienting the path so uh, let me test the movie so that is that okay